everybody and uh, thank you for joining us today uh, for another one of uh, Inspective's webinars. Uh, my name is Ashok Krishnan and uh, I will be the presenter. Inspective is a fast-growing SaaS satellite startup company based in Tokyo, Japan. Uh, our mission here at Inspective is to create a learning world where people can expand their capabilities and make tangible progress uh, using new data and technologies. So in line with our mission, uh, we are one of the few SaaS satellite startups in the world focusing on satellite development, satellite data sales and solution services. So I want to start off by actually taking a look at the electromagnetic spectrum. Uh, the electromagnetic spectrum is basically the range uh, of, elect uh, of electromagnetic energy spanning from long wavelengths such as radio waves uh, to short wavelengths such as gamma rays which, which are as small as uh, the length of an atomic nucleus. Now the major advantage of observing the Earth's surface uh, with the microwave range um, is that microwaves are not hindered uh, by the time of the day or the weather conditions as optical sensors are. Uh, microwave sensors can in fact uh, operate under pretty much any weather condition. So how do SAR satellites and optical satellites compare? Well, in terms of penetration, SAR satellites can penetrate through vegetation, snowpacks and soil on the ground. Uh, whereas optical satellites can basically see only the top of the medium. Uh, SAR satellites are also sensitive to uh, dielectric properties and structures. Uh, topography also can, can introduce some distortions in, in SAR images. There are like image processing tools and techniques which are available to deal with most of these issues. So on the whole, uh, it can be safely said that uh, SAR satellites enjoy uh, numerous advantages over, over optical satellites. 